Hey guys. Um, all right. Here's another example in your section 3.4. Example three: A projectile is fired from a cliff 500 feet above the water at an inclination of 45 degrees to the hor to the horizontal, with a muzzle velocity of 400 feet per second. In physics, it is established that the height, which is represented by variable h, of the projectile above water is given by h of x equals negative 32x squared divided by 400 squared plus x plus 500, where x is the horizontal distance of the projectile from the base of the cliff. Okay. So, if I need to sketch this out, so here's a little sketch. Okay, you are f on a cliff. Here's the water. Okay, here's a, and you're firing up a 45 deg at a 45 degree angle. Okay, a muzzle is like uh, like a gun. Okay, um, so let's pretend it's okay. So here's a, a mountain. Here's some water. Let's have a boat down the water. Uh, a sailboat. Oh, is that how you draw a sailboat? That is such an ugly sailboat. Okay. So you're firing it up, it's eventually going to go down at some point, okay? So, um, so you're 500 feet, that's how tall the cliff is, 500 feet, okay, above water. You're firing at 4,500 degrees to the horizontal, that means this way, okay? Uh, your muzzle velocity of your gun has a velocity of 400 feet per second, so they gave you this equation. So part a. Find the maximum height of the projectile. So if you look at this, the way that this is going, that's an upside down parabola. You do have a vertex up here at some point. Okay. So you can find the vertex by hand. In the previous example, I show you how to vertex by hand, which is x equals negative b over 2a. But on today, I'm going to show you how to find the calculator, which all of us should know by now. That should be the max. Okay. So here we go. Clear out all the stuff you have here. Open quantity, negative 32x squared, close it, because that's the numerator, divided by 400 squared. So 400 squared, okay, so close that. I'm going to do another parenthesis for this. This is a division problem, so I just want to go in and add another set of parentheses. So plus x, then plus 500. Okay. Window, obviously I'm not going to have anything that's going to be negative. Then max. Um, I want to try my max at, let's see, if I'm shooting something, how far can it go? Let's do 7,000, okay, and then zoom, and zoom fit, which is zero. All right, so here's my sketch. Okay. I don't need any negative here, so this is below the water, which I won't be able to see anyway, so I'm just going to go in and make my Y min. Um, technically, can you do y min at zero, but I'm just going to do a negative, how about like 200? Okay. There you go. Okay. So label our, um, our x-axis, right? So this is a sketch. Here's my x-axis. And here's my y-axis. Okay. X-axis is the horizontal distance. So horizontal distance. Okay. The y-axis, h of x is how high it is, so this is the height. Okay. All right, so that's what it looks like. So now, find the maximum height of the projectile. Hit second, trace. Oops, I meant second trace. Second trace. Go to maximum. Um, okay, one of my students showed me that I, lately, every time I want to go left and right, I have to use the left and right um, arrow here and it takes forever to go on the other side so I know that the left bound is probably going to be over here some at some point remember that this was at 7,000 um, x uh, max here x max here so if I want to go over here I want to do maybe a thousand okay so I'm gonna type in 1,000 so if you see it when typing 1,000 it brings me to the left right away and then if I want to go a right bound remember this is at 7,000 over here I know it's not all the way to 7,000 but if I go how about, if that's 1,000, how about 6,000? Where would 6,000 be? Um, nope, that's the negative y value, which I don't want. So that didn't work very well. So second trace again. Maximum, 
All right, left bound 1,000, right bound, how about 4,000? Or just move the cursor to the right. Okay, there you go. 4,000 looks a little bit better. So hit enter. All right, so find the maximum height of the projectile. I have two values here. I have an X value and a Y value. So which one of these is the correct answer? Okay, so if you said the Y value is the better answer, you are correct. Maximum height. is 1,750 and then your unit of measurement is feet. Kay. And let's put in your x min and x max. Zero and I put in 7,000 which it didn't go all the way. And then your y min I put in negative 100 and my y max I forgot what it was. I didn't even look. Y max is looks like about 1,800 Okay, so we'll just do 1800 there. Okay. This is just really giving you an idea of what your calculator should look like. Alright, so next piece. And again, if this is way too fast, then just pause it, rewind. Okay, this is why I want you to enchant it. Remember, on your quiz, I'm going to ask you a similar problem. Again, I might just change out you know the cliff instead of 500 I'm gonna chain out to the cliff is now shorter at 200 or even 4,000 so make sure you understand how it's found how the answers are found okay part B how far from the base of the cliff will the projectile strike water what does that really mean okay to strike water okay so would you agree that if I'm standing on the cliff of 500 I'm nowhere near water then the projectile goes like this okay so it's going to strike water at some point over here so this is where it cross over the x-axis so this is what's called the zero okay you can do it by hand you can set y equals to zero and solve for x which is perfectly fine we already have it on our calculator so now we're going to go in and find where the zero the one zero is okay so here's the graph this is when it strikes water okay how far from the base so we're going to go window oops not window, second trace, go to the zero. Zero is another word for x intercept. So go to z and it says left bound again. So I'm gonna go close to it. Okay, move my cursor. There you go. That's on the top, that's left bound. Hit enter. Right bound meaning now my y value should be negative on the negative side. Okay, so hit enter. And it's gonna give me zero is when y is zero so this is a perfect answer it's let's see how far that is x is about 5458.04 feet from the base okay. so the projectile strikes the water at about 5,458.04 feet from the base. Okay, so this whole problem, it's all calculator. Um, the previous example, as you remember, we didn't use a calculator at all, right? So with that said, um, this is the end of example two. And again, I'm not going to give you a joke today. I'm really sorry. Um, so keep in mind your possible, may or may not be notes quiz, um, can also now be a math problem. Right? Have a great day.